G'day everybody, my name's Lou Fitzpatrick and thank you for supporting Fish That Snag. Today's topic is all about using scents and attractants to modify soft body and hard body lures. So I'm just going to run you through a range of the products that I use uh, while I'm making my soft plastic lures and hard body lures and also while I'm out on the water uh, to make running repairs, modifications to my lures, all those sort of things. So the first thing I want to show you is JJ's Magic Dip and Die. Uh, I've only got four of the colours at the moment but I use this quite extensively while making my soft plastics. Also uh, separate uh, scent which you can buy that you can impregnate during the uh, soft plastic making process and a couple of the scents that I regularly use out on the water the Procure scent and S Factor and also the Spiket range of scented markers um, which I use quite a lot to make adjustments to my lures once I'm out on the water and some running repairs. So the first thing I'll show you is JJ's Magic Dip and Die um, and I'll just take you through the process I use for dipping some of the clear plastics that I make into a blood red colour. Uh, pretty important I haven't actually got my little gloves on uh, while I'm doing this today so uh, this stuff does pretty much impregnate everything including your skin so just be a little bit careful with it any splashes and stuff are very hard to get out generally hold it in the uh, container for about I don't know five seconds or something like that uh, get all the drips off let it air dry in about 10 seconds or so um, and this is where you'll see I should be wearing my little gloves but you have to grab the other end to uh, dip it in now this impregnates the plastic with the dye so in this case the blood red color and also garlic scent and that's probably the only limitation with the JJ's magic dip and dye is that it only comes with garlic scent but the color looks really cool especially with uh, clear plastics you sort of get a bit of a um, translucent sort of sort of look uh, with your with your lures I'll do the same again with the uh, chartreuse uh, and I'll speed it up just so we get through it nice and quick So contrary to popular belief, I do actually still buy soft plastic lures and hard body lures. This is a, uh, a Z-Man, uh, probably one of my favourite lures uh, for catching flathead as well. Um, what I usually find though is that the top of them and some of the colours do get chipped away and uh, ruined over a period of time. And that's why I love these scented markers from Spike It. Now they come in uh, all different sorts of scents. Um, garlic, shrimp, all sorts of uh, scents like that uh, and a, a fairly good range of colours as well and I use them quite often to make sort of running repairs on my soft plastic lures uh, with the added bonus that as I'm doing it it's adding a bit of scent as well. Um, I have found that you know if I don't necessarily want the garlic scent or anything on the pen I can then just uh, rub some S Factor or Procure or whatever I want to actually use at that particular time on the lure as well. So that's pretty much how easy or how complicated it gets with these little markers. They're really, really cool. Um, and the bonus of it is that they impregnate the lure. So they're not like a Sharpie or something like that where you get those, um, those smells and things that come out of normal textures and things. These things impregnate the plastic with... Uh, the colour that you want and uh, it stays there. So I use it uh, on quite a lot of my lures. So this is just an old um, uh, four inch prawn. Uh, just purely using it as a bit of a demo and uh, sometimes I just find that adding a little bit of red, flared gills, those sort of things, uh, a few little black marks here and there just helps um, helps with my hookup rate. Uh, I use it on the squidgies as well, um, just to modify them sometimes. Uh, add a little bit of uh, flare gill on this one and it just gives it a little bit of uh, extra scent while I'm doing it. So basically it's, you know, it, it's just like having a whole heap of coloured markers and it's really up to your imagination what you want to do uh, with your lures. 
So JJ's Magic Dip and Die, um, I order it online straight from their website, which is up on screen. Um, the good thing about the dip and dies that I really like is you only have to use them once unlike the rub on scents like S Factor and Procure and all that sort of stuff uh, and that's because it basically impregnates the plastic with the dye and the scent um, however you are limited with JJ's dip and die as they only do garlic scent uh, the mixing scent which I showed you before uh, it's used while making your soft plastics at the very start uh, again, you only need it once, it impregnates uh, the lure itself and I guess then you're just a bit limited by uh, the original one that you use. The Procure stuff, um, it's a rub-on scent. Uh, it comes in a range of scents and oils and all sorts of stuff if you go and visit their website, which is up on screen. They start at about $10 uh, and sort of move up uh, from there. Squidgy's S Factor, I think everybody's probably heard of it and used it at some stage. It's about $12 a tube. Most tackle stores in Australia use it. Um, it's just a rub on scent. By far, without a doubt, um, I can't lie or anything like that. Um, I use it probably the most out of all of them um, and I find it incredibly effective uh, on my soft plastics. Uh, and last of all, Spike It, range of scented uh, pens, dips, dyes. Uh, I love the pens, so easy to pack. Uh, you go out there and if one of your lures is just getting absolutely smashed, just, I mean, as a perfect example right now, this surface lure, four inch popper, it's gone toe to toe with a number of queen fish over the last couple of weeks. Uh, so I can easily just, rather than sand it back and uh, repaint it, I can just uh, give it a bit of a touch up with the pen. Adds a bit of scent too, which is really good. Uh, and then I can just start throwing it again. Um, and the stuff stays on. Uh, really well even on the hard bodies stays right on the hard bodies nicely uh, so you get a garlic scent instead of uh, something like a sharpie or something like that they're about two dollars fifty a pen um, and I order them again straight from the website uh, which is up on screen the one thing I would caution against is the dyes um, if they come in contact with any other color they will stain them uh, until they're well and truly sort of worn in, dried, thrown in the salt water a bit. Um, so you do have to be very careful with storing lures once you've uh, put a bit of dye on them. Uh, and that, that, that goes for the blood red and the chartreuse for me in particular. Once they touch each other, um, they start running all over the place. Uh, so that's I guess that's a bit of a limitation, but uh, not a huge one. Probably the other limitation of these dipping dyes, like uh, what you're seeing here with the pink. Um, when you're out on the boat, going through this process can be a little bit sticky, um, a little bit messy, especially when you're in a bit of swell. Um, you've got stuff all over your hands and everything anyway, and then you're sort of, you know, you're doing this and then uh, wanting to, you know, tie a line and all that sort of stuff. So. I tend not to take the dip and die uh, stuff out with me at all. Um, I just take the Procure S Factor and the Spike It pens. The rest I do back in the workshop prior to going out on the water. So I guess a really good question is, you know, why bother? <laughs> um, I guess one of the reasons why I started making my own uh, lures um, was because I got frustrated by the selection available from the big manufacturers. Um, Great products, um, especially the Squidgy range, the Z-Man range, all of, they, are, they are awesome products without a doubt. Um, but I, I just got frustrated by limitation in colours and shapes and all that sort of stuff. So um, as part of that I wanted to be able to have my own patterns, um, colours and things. So that's, that's the, the main reason. So I'll just give this 4-inch uh, popper a, a bit of a makeover after putting the red on. Uh, really you can sort of draw your own patterns and things on there as well and I guess like most things in nature nothing's really uniform out there so mix it up um, and and hopefully it makes the difference between uh, a fish striking and not so there you go folks I'm all done uh, hopefully that that's a very brief insight into the uh, some of the tools of the trade that I use uh, on my soft plastics and my hard body lures um, if you're interested in any of my soft plastics or hard bodies, please just send me a message, uh, probably best through Facebook. Um, 
If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, every time somebody hits like or leaves a comment or something like that, it basically lets YouTube know that my channel is working and it helps me grow. Um, it helps me, it helps them by pushing my videos out further and further afield to a bigger audience um, when my engagement statistics go up. So for everybody who comments, everybody who hits the like button, every subscriber, I'm so thankful. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you like this video. I hope you found it useful. And I look forward to seeing everybody out on the water.